Fire just dropped the album Larger Than Life. I have heard nothing about this at all until like two hours ago. And I'm at 12 right now, so let's get it. Tim's intro is the first song. Okay. Okay. All right, hear the, I hear the DMV tags already. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> This should sound like some Timbaland shit. What the fuck? These niggas snap. Oh, yo, Tim, Tim, who the fuck produced this, bro? I heard so many producer tags. But I heard Timbaland say Timbo something. So, okay, Tim is a writer up here. Maybe they just sample something. Yeah, Sparkeem, Manny Valley. Okay. Next one we got last one left featuring Lil Gray and Missy Elliott. See, he, now he got Missy Elliott as a feature off, and it still sounds like that old school 2000s Timbaland type jam. It seemed like a very Timbaland inspired project. You gotta pick a side. Okay. Okay, okay. It's they gon' run your life. You get your ass out of mine. Yeah. Don't think about when you went home. Like you 21 years old again. Damn. It's your life. But are you gonna share it with mine? Yeah, yeah. How much they fucking mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You speak about us. Ain't got no room to talk now. All of they niggas done gone. The only one left to got someone to call your own. Yeah. Shit a nigga like me, can't participate. No, your friends don't like me, then you leave it, they anticipate. Yeah. When I bust a check, she hyperfending. Lay be careful, run them bitches in your business. I was about to say, shit. Toss you up and floss you up with such and such. The greatest diet. I don't know. I, it's something about me that I love when I hear like trap niggas rap on shit like this a different shit than just regular trap beats and they still use the same cadence and flow i just love it so much Cool little vibe. Next song we got is Forever Yours. Ooh. You know what? Brim Fires need a song with Smino, bro. I feel like that chemistry would go crazy. I don't know why that thought came to my mind. Something that I can't explain. I can't, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't. 
Next song is Best Time. Bro, when I was young, I had like this piano and it had different noises up here. It sounded like the producer straight up just made that shit off of here using four notes. Okay. It's like that Timbaland Pharrell type of type of sound for real. Nah, this, this definitely got Pharrell influence in it. I can hear it. Next song, you got Big Mad Skit. Well, I guess it's a skit. Now, I'm not going to lie, on his last project, Wasteland, he went crazy. That shit was just so cinematic due to the skits and shit. Like, he went crazy with that shit. I'm not going to lie. So, I'm going to tune in on what's going on. Answer the phone, how aggressive. <laughs> yeah, now you want to answer the phone, you stupid ass bitch. Like, damn. Why are you not calling my phone? This bullshit. My son told him I see you on rent section, standing over this nigga big ass. Why the fuck you worry about what the fuck I'm doing? You know my father, boy. You know what it is. That's the worst time to call a girl is when our friends around and shit. Cause this shit is just embarrassing at that point. Like. I never experienced that shit, and I hope that shit never happened to me. Like they, they literally laughing at this nigga. Like I couldn't do it, bro. You don't. You a broke ass nigga. You a chump ass nigga. Damn. How many bitches you got? That's really some whole ass shit, bro. Like you really gonna do that in front of company? You calling him a broke ass nigga? Saying he got zero motion. Like, golly. It's like, see, like, that comeback was cool, but not when all them girls over there laughing at you. Like, you just. You just outnumbered, bro. It's not, you can't really do nothing in that situation. Man, we live a life that's a little larger than you, nigga. Fuck you talking about. We live a life larger than life. Fuck you talking about. Right. Okay. Next song is Moment of Your Life featuring Coco Jones. Oh. Yo, it's still that Timberland sound, though. With this song man if I'm not showing this it, cuz I'm tired as a bitch but man I'm out here thugging it for y'all cuz I love y'all I fuck with this song this song a vibe it's probably my favorite so far next song we got is outside all night featuring New York LA and ASAP Rocky ASAP Rocky is one of my favorite artists he just need to drop some fucking music Yeah. 
this beat is cold. I love this beat right now. Like Karen's. <laughs> he said some corny shit. I'm not even finna lie. Two gum in the bins. They call us double mint twins. Like, what the fuck? I expect that shit from Drake or some shit. Drake be saying some corny ass shit. But he's still a goat though at the end of the day. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. This uh, melodic singing that Rocky doing reminded me of the old Rocky, like 2011 type shit. Like, ain't no sale. Nah, we ain't no sale. yeah. yeah. But nah, I actually love, I love, love, love ASAP Rocky on this song. I, I don't know, I love when Rocky just step in different aspects of himself musically because he just, he's just the most versatile nigga. Cause bro, what can't he do? Like what, name an artist that ASAP Rocky would sound weird if he had a feature with that nigga. Now he got Brent Fiaz, he had fucking Skrillex before, he fucking made music with Danny Brown. Fucking Cardi, like all of these niggas is different as hell. Next song we got is Whatever, Wherever I Go. Upset is the next song featuring Tommy Richmond and Felix. Fuck 
Next song is on this side featuring Baltimore's only ASAP Ant and Cruddy Murder. Both of them bitches sound like, well not bitches, both of them niggas sound like they from Baltimore. Cruddy Murder, bro? And the way it's said and spelled? Come on now. Uh, okay. DMV flow right here. I love this shit though. I'm not even gonna lie. Especially if you put them behind the right fucking like production. That's a match made in heaven. Like y'all need to see this video when they put some DMV rappers over Pierre shit. That shit snap, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. Next up, we got dog them skit. to you featuring Babyface Ray. Babyface Ray has been uh, doing good on features. He's been pretty versatile too. Not really with what he's doing, but just the type of music he's been on. I feel like if it was another album that was like really, really hitting me, I would have been woke up by now. But it's more me falling asleep than anything. Not saying, not saying it's like boring, but like, it's just like a, I feel like Brent Fires have so much potential that's higher than this. I feel like this album is giving me bunch of mixtape vibes. That's the type of vibe I'm getting out of this because I feel like the skits are very random. I feel like the songs in the skits doesn't compliment each other like it did in Wasteland. <laughs> Next song is Where You At? I'm 
vibe though I fucks with it it definitely is something that I, I could see myself listening to Oh, pistachios. What the fuck was I about to say? That's how you know I'm tired as hell. Yo, I'm tired as hell. Same city, same hoes, can't we sound? At this hour, it's 4 a.m. with two now, what? It's better to hold down. You left your crew now, what? It's better to hold down. What do you want to do? My hoods already know, can't we sound? Half a million on my ride. One of my cribs, I in life in the comment section down below. I'm tired as hell, if y'all can't tell, I'm tired as hell right now. For larger than life, I feel like we've seen a more subtle, more minimalistic, but yeah, let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Make sure you have a wonderful day, receive a lot of blessings, money, and positivity for the day tomorrow and forever. May God bless y'all, and have a wonderful day, man. Love y'all, motherfuckers. <laughs>